How y'all doing? Hey, 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 shoot, shoot. Now, we're here on behalf of your teaching assistant, Saul Silla. You do remember your teaching assistant, don't you? Now, let me take a wild guess. You're Ross, right? Yeah. I thought so. Looks like I interrupted you in the middle of lunch. I'm sorry about that. What are you eating? A wrap. Wraps! Cornerstone of a med school diet. That yeah. looks pretty good. Where'd you get it from? Starbucks. Starbucks? That's that place Barry Jean Allen says not to spend money at. That's pretty good. Now if I try some? Mmm. That is a tasty wrap. Oh, yeah, you remember you want some of this? Mm -hmm. Not on there. Oh, well, if you ever get too late at night, Starbucks has some pretty good wraps. Oh. <clears throat> now, of course, I can't have too much of this myself. After a nutrition lecture, I'm trying to cut down on my saturated fats and cholesterol, lower my BMI. You know that in France, if you measure your BMI in pounds and inches, you have to multiply by 703. Why do you think that is? The metric system. Check out the big brains on Ross. He's a smart guy. That's right, the metric system. You, Ginger, you know what we're here for, right? Uh, why don't you tell me the approximate location of the parotid duct? Oh, it's about uh, one finger's... I don't recall asking you a damn thing! You were saying? That was like... two months ago. Check out first aid. It's over there. Alright, Dan, you happy? How oh, is it? We have a big exam coming up in three, four weeks or so. Yeah. Right, I'm trying to. Select oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Go on. You were saying something about a test in three weeks. Oh, you were finished. Well, then allow me to retort. What does Saul Silla's amygdala look like? What? what small group are you with? What? What ain't no small group I ever heard of? They speak English in what? English, mother gunner! Do you speak it? Yeah, yes, then you yes. know what I'm saying. Yes. What does Saul Silla's amygdala look like? It's great, great, great matter. Go on. It's, it's, uh, no, no, temporal. Does it look like trash? Does it look like trash? Oh. Then why do y'all treat it like trash, Ross? I, 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 yes, you did. Yes, you did, Ross. You stood Saul Silla up. Now, Saul Silla don't like to be stood up by anyone except attending physicians. And not even them. You read textbooks often, Ross? Yeah, yeah. There's this passage in Core Concepts that I like a lot. Limbs, 84. Images, 40 to 43. The wrist extensors have an essential role in controlling grip. For if the extensors do not act, the flexors will flex the wrist as well as the fingers, as is the natural tendency. But when the extensors act full... Where the hell they go? You didn't tell me there was another exit. I can't believe I didn't finish my last U-World set to be here. 
Well, Saul Siller, your boss, told you to keep me company. You know, I wanted to ask you something. And I think you're a very nice person. I, I really don't want to offend you. But what do you think happened to Himanshu? He fell out the library window. All right. That's one way to see it. Another way is that he was uh, thrown out of the library window by Saul Siller. And yet another way to see it is that he was thrown out of a library window by Saul Siller for, um, for studying with you. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Who told you that? You know, people, the anatomy TAs. Oh, they like to talk, don't they? Yeah, look at that. So, um, I heard you're in a dance troupe. It's my claim to fame. All right, and uh, what is it? Stepedius. Step, as in stepping. Stepedius is in the small skeletal muscle in the body. It's innervated by the facial nerve and dampens vibration of the stapes in response to high frequency sounds to prevent damage to the cochlea. Was that like a clinical sidelight or something? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the dance competition is about to begin. Do we have any volunteers? Oh, right here. Oh, no, no, no. I don't dance. Well, Saul Siller, your boss, said you have to do whatever I want. Or dancing. It was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished him well. You could see that Pierre did truly love the mademoiselle. And now the young monsieur and madame have rung the chapel bell. Hey. Smooth. What? Can you teach me how to dougie? You know why? Cause all the bitches love me All I need is a beat that's super bumping And for you, you, you to back it up and dump it Get it? Put your arms out Jackie. She served with Dylan over at Winter. Hi, little first year. I've heard so much about you from your big sit Dylan. We were in the anatomy pits at Formaldehyde together. God, I really hope you don't have to go through an experience like that. You know, when you go through something like that, it really brings you really close together. And you take on certain responsibilities from one another, okay? So, if I hadn't made it through anatomy, your big sick Dylan would be here doing the same thing for my little sick Katie. Do you see this Lippmann Cardiology 3? Do you see it? Yeah? Well, let me tell you about it. Your big Sid Dylan, he got this during the great October storm, the big hurricane that happened. Did you hear about that? Yeah. Okay. So when he, he bore it around his neck at Winthrop, a great cry, but he realized that the students there, they were going to confiscate it from him. So he believed that this stethoscope was your birthright, and he wanted to make sure that you had it. So he did the one thing that he knew would protect it. He stuck this stethoscope up his bazooka for five months. Okay, and then he, he got gastric inflammation and he had to take a leave of absence. So, so I stuck this stethoscope up my bazooka for two months. Then I took a leave here and came back to Stony Brook. So now I'm giving it to you. Here you go. <laughs> I don't really want it. Really? Dang. Okay, I guess I'll sell it on eBay or something. Nice. What the hell's going on here? Dude, I don't know, man. We were in the library doing RX questions. Just did Paul Cardio Renal. National average on the set was an 80. She got a 40. <sighs> Bro, I need five seasons of Epi Stat. I stole it from the CSC yesterday. Alright, find the ventricle. Find the ventricle. 
Ventricles should be right here, according to Netters, I think. No, that's not where the left ventricle is. Don't you remember those dragon questions from the anatomy quizzes? Well, don't you remember Stern's slide 47 from his septal marginal trabecula lecture? Guys, hurry up! We don't have time. You want to go like this? Wow, well, like this? Bro's getting rowdy. Someone went to the sim club last week. <laughs> well, what's the difference between the trabecular carnate and the pectinate muscles? I'm totally forgetting now, and I got step one coming up. They all look the same. I think it's like an embryological distinction. Well, yeah, I mean... Could be. Yeah. Is that even in first aid? I'm starting to think this isn't even the right thing for a cardiac arrest. I could have sworn I read this in Goya. What did Poppy tell you? Who the hell is Poppy? You know Poppy? Seriously? Look at it. I mean, I got a gun, man. Thank <laughs> you. 